What's up everybody? I'm Tindo, that is Hannah, and these are all packages from you guys. And it's some sort of world record. And I don't know if this video is gonna be like two hours long or what, because it's gonna take a minute to open these, but let's uh let's dig into them and see what's inside. Okay, I'm at the post office but to check the P.O. box. But after last time's mail time, we got a ton of packages, so I'm definitely not expecting anything if at all. Oh, there's something. Okay, we're gonna just expect one package, that's it. Where are we going? 212, okay. There's one package, that's cool. But sometimes they shove so many in here. We'll see what's in here. Wait, oh, I'm trying to shove my own key in there, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> It's fine, there's just five in here. It's no big deal. Oh my gosh. Thank you, this is amazing. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what the heck? There's five of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was literally nine the other day. How are there already five? <laughs> Listen, I've been getting messages from people. Did you get a package? Have you got a package? Imagine if we'd waited one more day. <laughs> We'd had 15 to open. Not um, far. Also, Chase, I see you in your chewy box. Nice. I see you with your pet. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty pumped about this. This is gonna be good. <laughs> We've went to the post office every day for about a week, and just about every day there's been at least one package, but several times there's been like four. So, <laughs> uh, how many is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so like twice there was four, then the rest of these, the rest of the days this week there was at least one. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess. Uh, I guess let's get the scissors and then we'll get to it. Which one do you want to start with? Ooh. Uh let's just uh, start from the top. Let's just start on the top. All right, hold it up. Oh gosh. That's all right. Uh, this is <laughs> I cut right through his name. Uh, this is from Andrew in New York. I think half of these packages are from New York, and like more than one of them are from Brooklyn. No, get a peek. <gasps> Yu-Gi-Oh tin. This is one of the classic Yu-Gi-Oh tins. This is like when I was in middle school playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what the that's what the tins came in. <laughs> it's a Yu-Gi-Oh tin full of magic cards. Lol. Look at this. <laughs> that's awesome. Stacks, stacks and stacks of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, not Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The magic cards. That's awesome. That's really good well, though. That, I mean, well, have a million magic cards. No, we have like a hundred magic cards total. In our second channel, we're going through this series where we play a lot of different trading card games together. So this is super useful because I don't have any. That's awesome. Stacks. Yay! Stacks of them. And plus, I don't I have one Yu-Gi-Oh! tin and it's one of the newest ones. So the fact that I get to put one of these from my childhood on the shelf. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a that's a thing of art right there. Uh I that makes me super nostalgic. I bought this when really? I was a kid. Yeah, I bought all of them. When the card game first came out, the, the very earliest. A little later on, my parents didn't let me buy cards, so I, I wasn't able to get the, the you know, second, third generation stuff. But that first generation stuff, I got my hands on. <laughs> all right, uh, I guess let's keep going. I, You know about what shape and size that is, don't you? That's about to be some books of some sorts. Antonio from Texas. Ooh. Try not to cut the... You <laughs> should have cut it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> How do I get in there, though? Okay, Carp. we got in. That's what matters. That is several little books. Some sort of magazine. Ooh, there's a, there's a note. There wasn't a note in that other one. I didn't no. see one. But thanks. Thanks for the magic cards. It's uh, kind of... With the almost a million trading cards I have at this point, I probably should have checked that for a note. Yeah, I think it had one. <laughs> yep, there is one. I just <laughs> yeeted it across the room. Uh, let's check what's in here real quick. And then we will... Ooh, these are old. Hold on. Oh, wow. These are pretty old. Where's the number? 183. Cool. Uh, 181 going... Whoa, I definitely don't have that one. That's cool. 182. Star Trek. That's beautiful. I might have this one though. I definitely have an older Star Trek one. It may not be that one though. 84, 
At least these are all in order, but here's a pretty new one. Those are beautiful though. Oh. I love the Mario ones. Uh, but if you've become acquainted with our channel relatively recently, I collect game informers. I'm just trying to get one of each. And I have, I'm getting to where I have almost everything back to about this era, 180s, 170s. I think I have a few that are like 130 to 160. But I don't, have, I don't think I have any yet, sub 100. Those, those tend to be pretty hard to get your hands on. I'm gonna have nowhere to put all this stuff. <laughs> <sighs> That's beautiful though. That's a cool cover for Wolfenstein. All right, pumped. That's a good start. Let's read the note. <gasps> I saw that, did okay. you see that? I did see that. <laughs> all right, let's check out the note and then there's like a surprise inside. I'll show it to you. Uh, let's just show you the surprise. Ba -ba -da -da. Let's go. You know what? Did you see what it was? No. Ooh. It's like my new favorite and newest Pokemon. I've said that several times. Beware. Uh, you can read this on camera. Hello, my name is Antonio. I'm from Houston, Texas. Me and my brother, Jose, like watching your channel. We started watching your channel since the beginning of the year. I'm sending you a couple of magazines that I have copies of. Hope you enjoy them. I was going to throw them away, but I saw that you collected them. Why not just send them to someone else who might want them? I really do. I really, I dream. I dream constantly about that complete collection. I like your channel because I like the same things you're interested in. Well, thank you for saying so. I like, uh, also, hold on. <laughs> this is our box of letters from you guys. I have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> you do not exist. You really don't. I don't see you at all. Hello. That's great. Um, we'll keep that letter right there. Thank you so much. And tell your brother I said, what's up, dude? All right. <laughs> we can barely see you at all. <laughs> This one was a bit weird. I don't know where it's from. I think one of you must have ordered us something off Amazon or eBay or something, because this isn't... I don't think it's something we ordered. Yeah, it's not. Oh, that's awesome. Bro. Bro. <gasps> that looks Dallas size. All right, Hannah, start the next one. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's heavy. I may or may not be naked. <laughs> Just partially. Okay, this one is from International Standard. Woo, Lee Rogers. I uh, think this one was from, yeah, Great Britain. Um, yeah, it's UK. from the UK. I wrote down on the front of all of them where they're from so we know. Smart. Listen, though. You know what that sounds like, don't you? Yeah, dude. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta keep beware safe. What envelope did this come out of? It was from. It was not this one. Um, Get the envelope that goes in, and I'll start cutting. This looks like this is a Nike shoe box. I don't know how to get in here. We're gonna do it though. <laughs> you think it's a good start? Or uh, did I mess it up? It is a start. I don't know about good. Well, Lee from the UK. I know what this sounds like. It's got a very particular sound to it. Ooh, they're all, they're all little wrapped they're presses. All... <laughs> I love it. They are. Every single one of these is wrapped. That's great. Hulk paper? Are they wrapped in comics? Uh, no, but I don't think it's actually. No, 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 no. These aren't actually. Oh, oh, okay. There's stuff. What do we do? Did I open it? Like, from the... let's just dump it all out. Watch here. All right, let's go through the stuff that's not wrapped. Marvel pins, Ooh. let's go. No! No way, that's a whole starter deck. Okay, well this is good, no! That's extremely helpful. What is, these, where are those? This is a plat, look at that. I'm gonna have to show these on the other camera. Um, Hannah and I have a second channel, if you don't already know. And these are not gonna show up on camera well. Oh, here's a few it's because they're like reflective. My camera's freaking out about them. So, Hannah and I have a second channel where we open card games. We do card game stuff. And we collect cards. And we do all kinds of stuff with cards. And we have a, a kind of a, a dream to eventually, through collecting these cards and learning how to play a hundred different card games, to create our own card game. And I have said multiple times recently, have I not? that if and when we do this, I want to make our cards out of plastic. Yeah. Can we make them holographic? Holographic and plastic. These, you could give these a bath. You can wash these in your sink. I know for a fact. Um, I have no familiarity with this card game though. Radikai? Interesting. So 
That is cool. I have a box full of card game stuff that I just need to do research on, and that will go right in there. All right, so Yu-Gi-Oh! starter deck. If you guys are into anything like this. Oh, you already put it in a little book? Let's go. I've never seen a little book like this. Um, if you guys at all are interested in this stuff, I will be making other videos about this kind of stuff on our other channel. Check out these pins, though. Those are pretty cool. All right, so the rest of these look, there's a couple more things that aren't wrapped. A Wait, destiny. What? Is that a, it's a pin. It's from Saw. That's for, yeah, Jigsaw. But That's is it a so pin cool. for our pin? Yeah, it's a pin yeah. for our pin board. Pin badge, let's go, okay. And then, are these keychains? Are they stickers? Are they luggage tags? Keychains. Okay, it's keychains. And then, that's cool. I dig that. All right, and the rest of these are prezzies. I guess, Hannah, set the camera down and let's just rip into them, I guess. Don't you think? Like, just tear them open. Find out what they are. This one feels very shaped. No. No. What the heck? These are Star Wars. Look at this. I'm gonna have to just, we're gonna, no way, I don't, I've never seen this set. So just Star Wars trading cards. I've, I'm now up to like 20 binders full of trading cards. I have so many near complete sets, this looks like another one. Are those Star Wars or? Yeah, they are. Is it the same set? I don't know. Is that, is that what they look like? Yeah, I think it's the same set, Return of the Jedi. Or if not, it might be each of the subsequent films. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, what's this big one? It's a big long one. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know what this is! <gasps> Doctor Who! Yeah, you do! Hold on. <laughs> reverse. Is this... Okay. So there is a trading card Doctor Who game. And this does have a bunch of numbers on it. This might actually be it. I think this is it. We get to play! Finally! Listen. Head and I are pretty serious about, I don't even know where to sit all this. We should have brought like a second table in. Here, let's put it back in the box. That'll be good. There's more in here. <laughs> Hannah and I are pretty serious about learning to play different card games. Now, I know some people watching like Doctor Who. Did you know that there's a pretty serious, that's the doctor's daughter? Yeah, yep. Called that one. Look, there's what a hollow looks like. Hannah and I are real serious about learning to play all these games. So the fact that I have this stuff right now and could actually go watch and learn how to play it, we're gonna just have a box. Hold on, we're putting it all away. I haven't even finished opening oh. half of it. This one's taped up really well. Oh, no. This is awesome. I actually don't have much of this set. I probably have 30 cards from this set. So this is probably enough of it. I can start putting it in binders. Yes. That whole box is full of trading cards, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. All right, there's two more. I, just, I, literally, I legit just hurt my finger tearing into that. <laughs> it's tough wrapping paper. Shrek? What? Is it shrunk wrap like that because it's the whole set? That looks that look, new. It's 72 cards. That's about 72 cards thick. Bro, that's awesome. I have a, I've all, I've had a lifelong addiction to trading cards. Gaming or not, I prefer. What is it? <gasps> all right, quick peek. We have a mail time on our other channel. We're not even, ooh, there's a lot Those of them. Those are all. Yes. The rocket, there's a lot of rocket in here. That's base set. I guess that's base set as well, base set. Okay, we will, our Monday Pokemon video is coming around. Which box did this, that came out of there? Okay, I'll keep it in there so we know which box to pull it from for mail time. Was that everything? I think so, yeah. All right, well, those Doctor Who cards knock my socks off. I already got magazines for my collection. We haven't even started. That was just the little bitty ones. All right, uh, Bill from Illinois. That's our neck of the woods. Billinois. Billinois. How do I get in here? Seems dangerous. <laughs> Doesn't seem effective, does it? No. Got it. I'm in. <laughs> You're staring <laughs> open! You know what that is? 
Oh my gosh, cards, cards, cards. We should have just opened all this on the other channel. No! There is a note. There is a note, all right. We'll read that at the end. Was there a note in the other one? I'm gonna skip notes because I'm too excited right now. And if I do, I am super sorry about that. Okay. I don't think so. So, these are Power Ranger trading cards. And I have, I don't have anywhere near complete sets on these at all. We bought you know several what? packs, which is kind of impressive. Yes. So these are all, you tell which, I tell which set it is. They're all labeled, but the, they all, every different Power Ranger set has different colored backs. And I recognize pink and blue. Um, I collect Power Ranger stuff. It's one of the more serious things I collect right after video games. I just, I love Power Rangers. And so I have a lifelong dream of having a Power Ranger Trapper Keeper from back in the day over there on the Power Ranger shelf. These are unopened. Oh. Stickers! All right, we'll definitely open a few of those because there's so many. Power pop-up, one of 24, what? Is that a sealed pack? Well, the, no, I don't know because it's got TV and movie stuff in it. I'm uh. not sure exactly. This is all, we're, but look, this is the best part. Uh, one of the original boxes. It doesn't seem to have anything in it, which is fine because I need one of these just to put on the shelf. That's rad. There is something in there. Oh, a few empty packs. That's cute. That's cool. I actually, the, the packs that come out of here, I have 10 or 12 in my room right now. So I'll just put them in that box. Look at all this Power Ranger stuff. All right, let's, that's going on my, but that's going on the Power Matter of fact, you know what? Give me the camera. This is going to go on the Power Ranger shelf right now. I've looked at how I'm running out of room. <laughs> this is only a three tall endeavor, but uh, we're undergoing a lot of reorganization right now. And once we're done with that reorganization, I will definitely. What are this? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'll definitely make more room for this stuff. I've got plenty of room to go. We're just out of shelves at this point. We have to bring home more shelves. Oh, this is, I think you opened those packs of stickers that were in there and I'm not gonna do this. I'll probably open a lot of the stickers and try to get the whole collection and put them in card sleeves and then keep them with this. That's this super is super cool. This is the coolest thing in my Power Rangers collection right now. All right, let's keep moving. I'll read the note while you do that. Put that in the box of cards with the other cards. And here comes the note. Tindo and Hannah, I found your channel a few months ago and have loved every minute of it since I love watching others with similar interests collect. I've been building my collection for the better part of 25 years and I'm still amazed at the finds uh, that are out there. Power Rangers hold a special spot in my heart, same. And I was just the right age to enjoy it when it originally aired. I can still remember going to Walmart and picking up card packs and stickers, same. Enjoy the trip down memory lane with the sticker book also included is a complete set of the new series Power Ranger cards. So those are all in there? That's great. <laughs> you know why that's extra great? Because I have several packs that I've been accumulating to do a video about. But it takes a lot of packs to even have a hope of getting the complete set. So now I just get to leave those packs inside that box you sent me. I'll leave the unopened packs in the box for display and I'll put the whole set in a binder. Perfect. Perfect, thank you so much. Spaghetti Bill, username Spaghetti Bill. It's in the box. From okay. Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Bill from Illinois. All right, what's next? Oh my goodness. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so. Okay, let's do this next one. This is from California, from Heisler. Heisler, you've been around. You've been watching for a while, haven't you? I feel like you've been watching this from way back. We'll get in here. <laughs> it's just like your daily workout. Yeah, it really is. Whoa, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay to read on camera, but read last. Thanks for the instructions. There's just stuff. Whoa. Get a look at this. No way. Oh, that's cool. We've got a grow, what? What is it? It's a Spyro, like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King toy. But it's like <laughs> actually a little game. It's like a Spyro Pokedex. <laughs> look at this. No! So this is those little collectible Pokemon cards. And I have maybe 10 or so of these now, but that'll like triple our collection. This is overwhelming. 
Yay! Is, there's another shirt in there, too. I'm going to have to... <laughs> Rugrats Passover. What? Whoa. Excuse, I would not have guessed that existed. Uh, look, some pogs from that Pokemon card game. I'm um, sorry, board game. But We're just the pink set. only missing two from our board game. If they're pink, I think we got them. We'll see. Open last. We'll put that with a the note there. Oh, it's not a t-shirt. It's like a pillowcase. <laughs> did you see what I just saw? I did. I got a quick peek. Okay, well first, we'll just put those aside. Let's look at this. Is this oh, a bed sheet? I think it's a curtain. Pokemon curtains? Oh, it's just pinned together. It's just raw material. Yes, it's curtains. It's got... It's got look at it. It's kind of a random selection of Pokemon, isn't it? It is. Meryl. Lediba. Scizor. Ho-ho. 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 Not, not That's awesome. Well, uh... We have... I mean, we have some pretty standard curtain rods. Let's see if they fit. All right. This is here is this is unbelievable. These are oh, okay. I don't have that game. I have that one. I actually don't have that one. Surprisingly, that's sealed. It's even Ooh. better because I'm not ever gonna play that. Yeah. <laughs> and then two Ooh. pretty early jam packs. PlayStation One jam packs. No way. That one does not belong on the game shelf. I think that belongs on the Marvel shelf. Just Ooh. cause you know what I'm saying. Heisler, my man. You guys comment below as you're watching this. Let me know if any of this stuff looks like stuff I should play. That looks like it's got to be put in tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, let's put all this back in the box. You put that back in the box, and I'll open the open last thing. No! Uh-oh. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Your face. Are you crying? I can't get it up. What? I need the scissors. No. Look, my eyes are crying. <laughs> get up in there. I think, so. I think there was something else in here. A Goomba! Yes! Um. That's beautiful. It's the second Game Boy I've been given this week, and it's, I've, I've, I've always wanted a backlit Game Boy pocket to, keep, to literally put in my pocket and take on trips, and I've always wanted a yellow Play It Loud series Game Boy. Because, uh, <laughs> right? Like, I, Heisler, um, I think I've already buried your note somewhere. <laughs> I've said that on the channel, so I guess you've heard me say that, but I'm, I'm just, I don't know how I'm going to make it to this video now. That's going to go on a stand over there on the Nintendo shelf, and, um, oh my gosh, let me just read this. Hi guys, here's a second package for me. Here's some stuff you can keep or sell. Tendo, there is a gift for your birthday. Hope you like it. Enjoy. Aww. Keep doing these fun videos. I, I more than like it. Um, I'm going to make sure it's set aside. As soon as this video is over, I will be putting batteries in it and playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the note is going to the box. Well, Hold yeah. on. I thought I keep. I thought this was full of cards. I opened mine very carefully, <laughs> so it still had card shape. Oh my gosh, okay, how do we keep, how do we, okay, the next one's from my man Joe in Canada. Um, Joe and I frequently conversate on the Discord, and uh, we're very like-minded. So I'm excited to see what he has sent. He's my... Whoa. Shark Shelf, listen. I know I keep saying this video after video. We have a whole plan. We even have draw, drawn a diagram for the shelves in this game room. And there will be a Shark Shelf. That's one of the earliest ones sent. That's an actual shark. He's one of you or, or a crazy person. That'll go on the Shark Shelf. We have a few more somewhere. Oh yeah, there's, they're all over the house. I just haven't designated a shelf for them yet. I can't. Yes, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, and it's complete. That's great. 
And I don't have that one. An Xbox demo disc. Um, I believe I had the case for this laying around somewhere, but I never actually got number 44, the disc, so. <laughs> I think you opened it from the bottom. So all the did I? Stuff is there. <laughs> I think I did. Did it say? Rip. <laughs> Joe even left instructions. <laughs> I, got, I got right into the bottom without even checking. He's terrible. <laughs> well, we're going to look at the good stuff first. Sorry, Joe, that I'm not going to get the true experience. Um, the second set of Power Ranger cards. Listen. We got to have a conversation about this. I don't... I feel great about this. I don't... I'm too overloaded right now to, to express any type of emotion, clearly, but... Our second channel that we've started is just a new thing. Hannah's, you know what, Hannah's gonna end up starting her own channel. A lot of you guys have asked for that. It's definitely something that's coming, but like we, we gotta grow at the right rate, not try to grow too fast, but we have a lot of interests. And I think anyone who's watched this channel knows this, right? We, we are interested in a lot of stuff. Um, uh, and, and that's not just made up for this channel. We've always had just these crazy, interest like we're really we, we enjoy finding something new to get into for a while and make content about and stuff and and to keep to keep and collect away and trading card stuff was always the top of my list of things that we didn't put on this channel that I wanted to do and when it came time I thought well that'll be my more individual kind of something else channel and Hannah has some interest that eventually she'll make a channel and do some different stuff that doesn't really fit on this channel per se and so I've started doing that with these. And I, you guys have been seeing me buy these at the thrift store, even if you don't watch our other channel, which you don't have to, because not everybody's into this stuff. But uh, I've been buying this stuff at the thrift. This looks like a whole nother whole set. <laughs> we'll have to get to the note and see. But, but I'm saying all this to say, like, you know, I have everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know. I didn't even have to work for it. It's just it's strange. It's so strange. A stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. See if I recognize anything. Cyber Dragon, I definitely recognize. That's an OG. Beautiful. Let's just get a quick look. We will definitely dig more in depth than this. Got a, a live Yu-Gi-Oh episode coming up on our other channel real soon. So that'll get put aside for that. Joseph. Joseph. Okay, and these are from uh, Evolutions. That's a, well, that card is. I don't know if they all are. My man Joe, uh, you guys will have to give him a gratz down in the comments below. He just pulled his own dad bod Charizard. Which is awesome. Like, it was like last night or night before. It just happened. Sweet. So, Red. we have a mail time over on our other channel too where we do the Pokemon stuff. And these will be looked at on that channel. Okay. I haven't even started. I haven't even started with this box. Or I have. I've fi actually finished because we did it backwards. What? Cool. Tech kit. Four handed warrior princess. No! What? You know what? So look, it's a little sewing kit it labeled ha for Hannah. This is so great because you know what? I've made her one of these. Uh, she has one and it's in an Altoids can, but like that's even slimmer. Yeah, that's nice. And I bet it's even better. I bet it's got, like, because it's got a thimble and stuff and a little pair of scissors. And it's, it's got a tiny little seam ripper in it. That's a pocketable and, means. And I guess this one's me. Tech kit, four pieces. Includes nice. one bottle of screen cleaner spray. Bless you. Excuse me. Uh, does sewing stuff make you sneeze? <laughs> That's a weird reaction. Oh my gosh. Look, a little pocket beer kit. What are you trying to say, Joe? Whoa. What are you trying to say? I already cut it once. You want me to cut it again? Let's go. Those are cute. Do we open them and eat them? I think so. I guess we got to try one. I've been sent two Game Boys today. <laughs> oh, they're little direction pads. Hold on. Talk about over engineering. Hello? <laughs> Here, take one. Try it. Are they great? Yes. They're good. Very chalky. Where did I put my other Game Boy? Over yonder. There you go. You know, people ask all the time when they come over to our live streams, now I'm thirsty. These are mints. Yeah, we should have ate those. Um, people ask me all the time when they come over to our live stream, look at all this. Joe, <laughs> what the heck, it just keeps going. 
I see. I appreciate how you stacked this. He definitely stacked this to be the exact opposite experience of what it has been. <laughs> we I know it took a lot of time to do that. That's crazy. Is what this are food? They? It's wafers. Neat. I love getting well, candy. Well, there's cards in there though. Well, gotta got open them. Yeah, I have to. There's a package art collection for these cookies. Joe, where'd you get them? Where can I go get the rest? I have a Wii display. Let's just go. What the heck? You need a Wii stand for your candy I know, Wii? I'm going to have to print out a thinner one for it. <laughs> but uh, the rest of that Nintendo stuff is definitely going to go over there on my Nintendo shelf. Because they're all beautiful. Is he full of candies too? Probably. I don't think I currently have a bullet bill on the shelf. That's wonderful. That's cool. I have one of those. I've never seen that one. Is this oh, all candy? Well, that could be a Christmas ornament. Yeah. We're working real hard on trying to just, what? It's a 3DS headpiece. Neat. You know what's actually really cool about this? I have one of these sealed in box. Oh. I've always wanted to take it out, but I haven't. So now I don't have to. More candy. Guess who's going to the dentist this month? Squirtle. Is this the one I don't have? I think it's the one I don't have. And there's an envelope on top that was a divider this is what i was likely supposed to open first may read on video uh hey tendo and hannah warrior princess and clothes is some nonsense and a few things for your collection i hope you guys make it up to canada on your thrifting adventures we're coming to niagara falls joe we're coming i'd be happy to show you around mario kart style go carting some awesome chicken wings that's all you had to say <laughs> you should just wrote chicken wings canada come <laughs> and of course some thrifting in this envelope is a challenge Eat one to move on to the goodies underneath. Well, I messed this up so bad. What is this, like a flaming hot? Oh, it's a cricket. <gasps> nope. <laughs> I might suck on that sucker, but I don't know that I'm gonna just pop a cricket in my mouth. That's funny. Ooh, a scorpion. Nope. That's not edible though. It is, it's got nutrition facts. I don't wanna eat these. I wanna <laughs> put these on the shelf next to my shark. They sell these a lot at gift shops here in, in Phoenix because, you know, desert. Ooh. I'm not going to eat one. They do, I smell something funny right now, don't you? It's not it. I think it's the sucker, actually. Uh, I'm... What's a... What's a, a, a bug phobia person? <laughs> you got a bug phobia. Bacon and cheese crickets. Should I eat one? If you want to. I mean, I'm not that scared. I mean, I've never had one. Are you ever going to kiss me again? I don't know. Drink lots of lemonade. <laughs> well, that's actually, I'm more worried about them eating a cricket. I'm more worried about this tasting weird for the rest of this video. I'm sure the flavor is fine. It's going to be the texture. It's what it is. I can't do it. I just got scared. <laughs> I was like, I'm not scared. Where is my lemonade? I don't think I can do it. I just got scared. I was like, this whole time, I was like, I'm not scared. It's just, once you think, oh, there's guts, bug guts bouncing around my mouth. <laughs> I'm sure those are baked already. <laughs> <laughs> you think the guts are already dried up? Yeah, for sure. I don't think I can do it. I, I gotta can't. quit looking at it. Close your eyes and swallow or put it down. All right, here we go. <laughs> Throw up. <laughs> it is, it tastes fine. It's just what it is. <laughs> I can't find the top three so, of it. Official review? Don't ever do it. <laughs> I did it because I can't wuss out on camera. That's the only reason I did it. Pure pressure. Thanks, Joe. I, I wussed out. No I'm, shame. Actually, I think this worked out. I think you intended it to work out quite different. But if I'd have got to that first, I probably wouldn't have done it. I probably wouldn't have done it. I'll eat another I, one of those uh, Game Boy game pads. I, I will say, though, that lemonade is super strong. So, I don't really taste anything to eliminate right now. Let's just... I didn't even see the Mega Man ones. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Let's put all this aside. Joe, my man, thank you. Congratulations on that dad bod. That dad bod Charizard! <sighs> Have we even started yet? Nope. <laughs> the biggest okay. one's left. The next one, they just get bigger as we go. Chase the Roar Restore. My man from Arizona. This guy's from just down the road. Close. 
Muscles. Scissors. Alright, hopefully I open this one up right. Ooh, there's the note. That's a cool card. I like the design of that, the wood grain and stuff. Tindo and Hannah, here are some spoilers. Ooh. SpongeBob plug and play. Nice! Power Rangers plug and play. Nice! Spider Man plug and play. Nice! No! Whoa! I'll plug this one up today. His uh, Shinron's face is missing. That's awesome. Now let's read the note before I start asking questions. Here are some plug and plays. Had them out for sale at my garage sale. Nobody wanted them. Thought maybe you and Hannah would enjoy them. I, for sure. Gary and Robin, thank you. Um, that's exciting. I've, I have this one, but I've never plugged it up. But since I'm very interested to see what a Dragon Ball Z plug and play looks like, I will plug this up and I'll just, I'll plug that one up. Too while we do it. All right. No, your note, your card is in. Into the box. <laughs> like six, <laughs> there's like six plug-in plays in there. It's overwhelming. <laughs> okay, this next one is from Rob, New York. I told you, I told you there were several from New York. Look at this sticker. Neat. Slayer. Are there any more? Nope, just the one. I like Something rattling. <clears throat> I like the decorations on the box. Are you choking on cricket? Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. But sure, keep bringing it up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in here easily. Alright, we've torn our way in. Rob, this is an awfully heavy box for how small it is. What did you do? And did I open it the right way? Are those all Game Informer? Probably. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Did I open it upside down too? I think. No, I mean, I opened that one the sensible way. Alright. Sword and Shield, I think. Beautiful. These, feel this. Usually they're Very gloss nice. covered like that, but that's like rough paper. I always wonder why that happens so much. Aww. No way, we'll put that in. Let's go. Sonic is in the, it is in the Zord. So check this, we'll go ahead to make sure there's not any more of this in here. There's, what? I've never seen this. And her helmet comes off. Okay, let me just make sure there's... I don't want to make six trips over there. Okay, I, I vaguely remember this. Let's go over to the Power Ranger shelf real quick. Um, this is a McDonald's toy. That's the Frog Zord, Black Ranger. There's the Blue Ranger from the same set and the Yellow Ranger from the same set, but I only have the Yellow Zord out. I have the Blue Zord somewhere. I do not have the Black Power Ranger, so we gotta keep a lookout for that thrift. We gotta get that whole set over there. And also, somebody comment below if you know, I don't have any idea what this is, but I would like the rest of them because that might be the coolest little Zord I've ever gotten. And the fact that the Power Rangers just right there on top is dope. And this is something from the movie. I think it was like a, a blow dart type thing. It shot a disc out really blue on it. I vaguely remember it, vaguely. Okay, is there more Power Rangers? No, the communicator. I'd put that on right now if it would fit, I swear. That's awesome. Yeah, that's for baby wrists. <laughs> yeah, I might have to just put this, I need to find another one so I can keep this one on the shelf and cannibalize another. And actually wear it on a wristwatch, wouldn't that be cool? All right, look here, what else is, no, Napoleon Dynamite. That's in such perfect condition too. Very nice. PSP UMD. Uh, yeah. X-Men toy so for the McDonald's shelf over there. What? Reverse hollow, uh, Japanese, yes! Okay, these are OG Dragon Ball Z carts, pre-Panini. So I, these are some of the ones I have the least of, the earliest ones, so that's, I know, I've learned a lot about these Dragon Ball Z cards lately, so I know that immediately, and here's a hit, this looks Harry Potter-ish. It is. Cute. Hockey cards, I don't have any of those. Itchy and scratchy, very cool. Look at these Simpson cards. X-Men, and here is, what? Did this, is that supposed to go in the McDonald's bag? I think it is, I think that oh. probably came in there with that. A Transformer. Ooh, a mug. Oh, a pin for the pin set. That's cool. Um, uh, yes, keychain. 
What is it? Oh, it actually like rolls. Yeah. We're not supposed to do something. What's the mug? Chewbacca. Furbacca. Okay, what? Oh, Le wow. No. Oh, wow. This is the second time I've been sent one. I believe if this, so this is a blue eyes white dragon and a bag full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And if it says SDK, and it does, that's from the original starter deck. These are only worth a lot of money if they say first edition here. It doesn't matter. I, we need a kind of a deck with three blue eyes white dragons. And let's just get a quick glance at all this. This is the second time somebody sent me a starter deck blue eyes white dragon. All right, we'll get a closer look at those on the other channel. I think we might have doubled our number of Yu-Gi-Oh cards yeah. today. Doom, sticker pack, let, that's the sticker you put on the outs. Sweet. Oh, they all say different things. Yes. Yes, please. Because we started reselling in our antique malls that we sell all the stuff that we thrift at, because of that, I, I my sticker supply has diminished. I used to have thousands of stickers, but we actually put almost all my collection up for sale just to get it moving. You guys have done very well to help me kind of replenish it because I like keeping stickers around to put on my toolboxes and flat cases that I buy for new camera equipment. It's one of my favorite hobbies. As much as I like collecting Pokemon cards and stuff, I collect stickers to put on that kind of stuff. So that will go in my sticker box. It certainly will. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, another shark for the shark shell. Sharkpedo. It looks like a little torpedo, don't it? I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> no, that was it. That's weird. More? Is that more candy? No, there's, um, no, there's nothing in there. Is it one of those squishy things? Oh, it's probably got a little pr prizzy inside. A little grab bag. Because it's Mario. How do I open it? This is very complicated. Hello? I'm trying not to break it. I'm trying not to be the brute that breaks everything on camera. Ooh! And they, they have a little stand. Well, that's going on a Mario shelf. That's cool. Have you ever seen these? Uh-uh. I'm sure they're in those toy stores we shop at regularly. I've just never noticed them. I'm trying not to break it, I swear. It just, it fits. It's like a very friction fit. That's cool. That will go on the Mario shelf. So cute. It is. Okay, what else is in here? Business card, that's another cool business card. Lazy Monkey Clothing. Cool. Give this a look, guys. Go check that out. I, no, I certainly will. Just based off that card. Is that a t-shirt? Oh, those are undies! <laughs> well, those are for you, because they're not fitting me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The yellow one? I don't have the yellow one, so that's awesome. Gold Sonic. What? Look at that title thing. Look Aww. back here. Bloop. Yes. <laughs> and oh, a little, is that a Switch game case? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's very useful. Another shark for the shark shelf. Minecraft. I've been keeping all this Minecraft stuff to take to my nephews later, so thank you for that. They'll be very happy. Is that a Pog? No, it's just a collector's coin. <laughs> I got excited. That is from a Beyblade. That's so funny. Let me make sure there's something else hidden in here. And there is a note. I probably, I think I opened this one upside down also from how they intended. What's in here? I, I feel like I'm digging through treasure. There's, it's a Beyblade top, but it's broken. So there's just some bits of Beyblade. Well, cool. That's actually an original Beyblade weight ring. So these are from the original line and not the stuff. If you guys are finding Beyblade at Thrift, it's probably not this stuff. So uh, this is very useful to me. I'll put that in my Beyblade box for future use. Just make sure I didn't miss anything else. One of those guys, remember? Uh, I don't know where he's from. Yeah, I don't know what to show. It's one of those figures. Yeah. Okay, let's put all this back in the box. Thank you for that. It was overwhelming. Um, this is pretty cool though, this whole X-Men disc thing. I bet it's a mini DVD. I guess I could probably pop it in a DVD player. All right, let's set this aside and keep moving. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm really stoked about those stickers too. This one is from Brian in New Mexico. Not too far away. I'm gonna have to have another drink. All I can think is cricket. Where did I put it? My dad always calls me and asks me random questions. He'll be like, oh, what'd you have for lunch? I wish he'd call and ask me that today. Crickets. Gross. Okay. Okay to read on camera. Spoilers. We'll wait. Are you ready? Green paper. Yes. What? No. Oh. 
I need these more than you could know. I've went through a lot. Four or five hundred in the last few weeks. A lot doesn't cover it. All right. Well, the mail time on this week's episode of our Monday Pokemon show is gonna be lit. <laughs> Look at all that. So it's gonna be mail time with a little bit of everything. Else. Everything else, yeah. <laughs> mostly mail time. Okay. That is my uh, jungle set. So okay, you've even organized them. These are organized by set. <gasps> Fossil set. That's base set. I can see it from here. That's uh, taking care of my portion of the job. Yeah. <laughs> and Jim Heroes, etc., etc. Okay. Oh, there's an OG coin in there from one of the starter decks. Oh, and I think that's, yeah, that's actually. Um, this is a rule book from a starter deck from one of the e reader series. Oh. That's wild. All right. Well, you guys, if you want to see what all's in here, I'm trying to be gentle with them. Very, very excited. And these will actually get put to use today. So, that's awesome. Now let's actually read the note. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so worried about breaking that little toy. <laughs> it's all down. Dallas Smash. Hey, Tindo and Hannah. Love the channel and saw you were getting into Pokemon cards, so I thought I'd send you my extras I had laying around from when I was collecting in middle school and some extra binder sleeves. Keep up the great work. So much more useful than you could ever know. Um... I always say this when we open up stuff like this and also like all these trading card stuff like it really has just become our pastime kind of hobby just to sleep stuff put it in books organize it we enjoy it quite a bit I'm running out of room to put stuff let's have let's give them a quick look around the floor real quick look at this <laughs> it's wild we've got two more this one is the ultimate heavy that is heavy like I could barely I could barely hold on to it okay make sure there's no instructions on how to open it Here's another one from New York. I wasn't kidding. This one's from Andrew. Here we go. <laughs> I can't. Whoa! That's a lot! Hello? I need like another box to transfer this into. Do we have any empty ones? Um. Or give me a bag? Because this is, this is going to create a mess. Uh... Angry Pig, Angry Pig. Dragon Ball Z collectible cards. This is not the same. This is not the gaming ones. Got an IKEA bag. This. Look at this little turt. I just. We, how are we even gonna get through all this? Uh, Avengers. What? This is a thumb drive, I guess. Okay, what's well a lanyard and it has Donkey Kong on it and there's a thumb drive on there too. I just couldn't figure out what the thumb drive was. Hello? <laughs> Very specifically odd. An Olympus camera. There's probably a note buried in here too. Two prong cables. How'd you know I needed these? This is a... Play... It's not a PlayStation cable. Oh, it's a Dreamcast cable. It's a Sun, oh. it's a Saturn or Dreamcast. It's a Sega cable. Lanyard, Gears of War. Wow, that must have been like a, a GameStop pre-release or something. Uh, backplate for a, a PSP. Pokemon rule book from a, a base set. No, this card list from base set. This came in a base set starter deck. That's, That's wild. Awesome. I don't even know what this trading card is. Uh, Walking Dead lanyard. For, uh, oh, it's a Comic Con lanyard. That's cool. Let's see if you can figure out what that is. I don't even know. I don't know how to. How are we gonna. There's just so much in here. It's in. Right? Inflatable something. Some sort of. Okay. Tech Deck skateboard. A battery to an Xbox 360 wireless pack. A deck box with Power Ranger cards. Is this like four packages that have had Power Ranger cards? No way. And some other stuff. There's some like, you guys are gonna be jealous. Some Beavis and Bayer cards. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, uh, we gotta, how do we, 3D, Playing cards with collectible tin. 
Oh, okay, they're just regular playing cards. Suited playing cards. Cool. Could be, I was like, is this another Star Wars trading card game? Star Trek The Klingon Way, A Warrior's Guide. And both English and Klingon, I love people's obsession with learning to speak Klingon. I'm looking for the part that's legit in Klingon. Just random phrases are in Klingon. Home front. Same brand as that Turt, but Batman. Is this a starship? No, it's a it's a sword from Halo. Oh, but it's inflatable. Okay. I've got one of those made out of wood. I've never seen an inflatable one. Turtles and figures. Oh, it's a little Dalmatian. Oh, that's cool. Here, let me show the camera. Well, our collectible little nonsense drawer just went through the roof. Is that a pin? A mocking J pin. That's perfect. That's awesome. That'll go on. We got to put these pins aside. So I can put them on the board today. And then these are all insurgent keychains. Several of them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, The Secret of the Ooze. Stickers! So these are the same brand, same make as those Power Ranger ones, but from the Turtle movie. I didn't know I needed to collect those, but now I do. <laughs> it's like, ah. Hello? <laughs> um... Call of Duty hook trading cards. That's cool. I have a couple of these. I didn't know they came in these little plastic packs, though. I have a couple cards from the set. A baseball collectible. I like this ring. It's very large. Uh, <laughs> an iPod Nano. Okay. Great. I'll go ahead and put that in my pocket so we don't lose it. More hook cards. What? Okay, well, first things first. I'm gonna have you guys. I'm gonna have the complete Power Ranger set. I mean, you probably already do now. I mean, I was <laughs> listen. There, are, I was wholeheartedly expecting to spend the next three to ten years of my life buying stacks of these at the store because I don't, I don't buy a lot of new cards. I, I've been buying Pokemon stuff new. That's a little different. But everything else, I wait till I find it at the thrift store, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I found bags of these at the thrift store. And that was gonna be cool, just over the next several, several years, I was gonna just try to complete this. I'm pretty sure we've already got it, so we did it together. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's a bag of counters out of some OG Pokemon oh, cool. training kits. That Put that together so we can show up. The other thing I just freaked out about is two entire, so I'm assuming these are gonna be the, this is two complete sets of the same thing. I love this so show. somebody it's Dexter's lab but it's the trading cards the collectible cards that um, and it's the 272 card this is unreal that's going in a binder Meryl spinny top very nice am I dove I think I'm missing a piece okay here's another but, ring red lantern ring but I just opened it that's awesome I might actually wear the red lantern one um, and I still haven't got through the nonsense. More skateboards and Hot Wheels. Oh, the Blue Ranger. No. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Not even close. Fantastic Four. Um, Yellow Lantern? Is that Are for me? Are you kidding me? I mean, do you want... I like the yellow one. You can wear the red one because you're evil. Actually, I don't remember what the red one was. I haven't... It's not going to fit. Put it on your thumb. Yellow Lantern's actually the bad guy. Um, Still. So red is probably like hope or love or passion or something. It's actually probably good. I can't remember. This is blowing my mind. It Does it not work? Am Hello? I missing a piece? It must be. Because, okay, well, it's a tight. I wanted to show you. It has a stand, but whatever holds it onto the stand is not there, but it's a tiny little Thor. And then these Pokemon coins, pogs like thing. I'm going to put those, make sure those show up on our other channel. Just more skateboards. Green Lantern Ring. Okay. Let's go. The whole set's in here. You just need to put them all on all your fingers. Oh, another yellow, a blue. I've actually, when I, listen, when I was a kid, me and my friend were obsessed. I'm, I'm going to actually, there's two Green Lanterns in here. I've found so far. There's probably more buried. Blue. Am I pretty? Do you know how, if these were real, do you know how powerful we'd be? These are all different. Uh, each color is like for a different emotion. Like green is willpower. It's actually the only one I know. Red or yellow, one of them's fear, right? So would we have exploded our house by now? We'd have killed each other probably. Oops. <laughs> okay. There's some more stuff in the bottom of this box. There's a Tony the Tiger Spinner? Excuse me? 
That's awesome. Yeah, I've never I've never come across one of those before. Um, look at that. That's cool. A Nickelodeon button. I'll put that on our pinboard. Uh, with more skateboards, Black Lantern. Let's go. There's I I I didn't read a lot of the comic book series where all the other lantern types came into play real heavy. This is getting ridiculous. Um, but uh, <laughs> this is this is the coolest thing in here. I'm very I'm actually very happy about this. I have to build some sort of display for them. Uh, more of those keychains. Here's some sort of collectible world coin from... Oh, it's the Mario Odyssey coin that came with the... All right, well, that's going on the Mario shelf. I'll keep that in my pocket so I don't lose it, too. Um, another purple lamp. Look at all these rings! This is awesome. I am going to keep a yellow one on, even though he's a baddie. That's awesome. But I don't want to put these back in the box. I'm, I want to get to these soon, so I'm going to set those aside. Look at that, though. I'm going to send my buddy one of the Green Lantern ones, though. He'll really appreciate it. We always dreamed of having one when we were kids. Another Nickelodeon button. There's a couple pins in here. There's, some hot, there's a Wonder Woman invisible car Hot Wheel. Cool. And an Assassin's Creed pin. That'll go on our pin board as well. I don't know how good of a shot you're getting to that. but uh, All right. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace comic book. And I don't know what this is, but I have a feeling it's special. It is a magazine without its cover, but it's like a very specific holiday PlayStation magazine. Maybe it's not missing this cover. Maybe it's just, maybe it came in the mail like this, or maybe it had a cover with an address and somebody ripped it off. But this is like almost all, okay, it's not just PlayStation. So is this from GameStop or what? Or EB Games or something? I can't figure it out. I'll, I'll have to spend some more time to figure it out. But it's got a lot of PlayStation stuff in it. And then a little bit of computer stuff. The power platform. Oh my gosh. All right, well that is gonna go on the magazine shelf. And I will deal with that later, bruh. That's awesome. Wait, what was the name on this? This was Andrew? Okay. I don't know. It's... That we ripped it up. I messed it up. It's on the other side of this. <laughs> okay, it's, it, it's not, you didn't recognize the name. It's not someone we know. No. Okay, because I, I had a discussion with a local. This is the, was this the box that was from here in Arizona? No. This was New Mexico. Yes. Do you have any idea? I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry we got this mixed up. I usually take notes on all of it uh, whenever I'm editing the video, so I remember the names. I've got a little notepad. I keep track of you guys that send stuff. But here and now, when we rip these boxes open, I don't know which way's up. But I was having a conversation with a local guy here about how much I needed some of these. And I was talking about buying some off of them. I was just making sure. We did just open a package at some point from somebody that's from like right down the road, so. No! What? Goosebump <gasps> shelf. Oh my gosh! I think my brother had this same folder. Um. I didn't, but I remember this one. Cuddles the hamster. Look at this though. That's sweet. That's awesome. That's beautiful. I, yeah, it is. And I have another Pokemon Snap companion book that's not like the official strategy guide. Um, and it go, it's on my Pokemon shelf, so that will go on the Pokemon shelf too. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a lot. Okay. This is from Eric. The Behemoth. that easy to rip tape. Painter's tape. I punched it with the yellow lantern ring. It left it dead. I'm about to be, Oh no. I'm about to be... I'm already overwhelmed. Okay? I'm already... <laughs> we're opening it, Hannah. You're not going to stop me. I just need a breather first. I'm just really excited about how many little packages are in there. Did we, get, did we read a note from that other one? No. Was there one? I there, might, there might have just. Yes, see, we did. I'm, okay, there is a note. Please read first. No spoilers. Thank you so much for all your amazing content. We were the ones who sent the SpongeBob box. <laughs> we now have a SpongeBob shelf. Thank you. 
Uh, and now that the season is wrapping up for us, we've been sorting pretty hard. We put together a box of stuff we thought you guys would like. I do want to apologize for the condition of some of the items. Condition is of no, uh, it's no problem for us. People who watch this channel care way more about value than we do. I get comments every day. You should be a lot easier with those comic books. No, <laughs> just a hard no. Uh, if you feel they are trash, you can just put them on the curb. LOL, my son made a great deal on this on the bubble wrap item at uh, five years ago. He got two of them for a dollar each. Can't wait to see what that is. I want to send you guys one. Some of the stuff is for your other channel, and I just joined the Discord, so any questions you have, I'd love to chat. Send me a direct message on Discord and tell me this was you so I, I know which one's which one's who. Uh, if you guys are in New York area, keep us in mind and we'll take you thrifting. Uh, we can chat about that also. Keep or sell or trash whatever you guys would like. Again, thank you so much and hope you enjoy your friends from New York, Taylor, Eric, and Vinny. I remember that now, the SpongeBob package, because my brother's name is Vinny. Um, Taste hats. Check them out. Stickers. And I have this one of the SpongeBob stickers on my Tumblr now. Well, my favorite thing is still the SpongeBob Tupperware. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but check them out on Mercury at Throwback hooks or taste hats she's the tattoo artist that's yeah. what she just said okay <laughs> power ranger shelf let's go my power ranger shelf is disheveled because you guys have sent me so much stuff recently oh no didn't we carve pumpkins on kind of carved pumpkins on the channel last year we'll say decorated decorated that's putting it loosely <laughs> oh no don't do it it's a confetti cannon We'll save this for like 10,000 subs or something. When we hit our 1,000 sub video several months ago, we wanted to do that. <laughs> we wanted to find one of those and do that on this video, but we never could find them here in town. And we waited too long to order them. I guess it's just, I didn't even see what it was. Is that for you? Well, go ahead and show it. I didn't. It's ah! a vintage pony. Ah! Sucks. Sweet. This is. <laughs> This is, it's a whole package of socks! I need socks. Oh! Ah! These I'm are all so for you. I'm so excited! These are all for you. Um, <laughs> where, did, where did you get these? This is wild. I was literally just well, talking look, to a friend yesterday we, about how I've never seen a vintage pony. Is this? That's my size. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I'm not going to change my shirt again. <laughs> um, I don't need to dirty another. But heck yeah. Hawkins, isn't that? Yeah, yeah Stranger things. things. Yes! Yes! Super useful. Um, we'll try to use these on a Halloween episode. Look at all these socks. Look, we this is the last package. We can make a mess. Let's you know do it. Saying? This one specifically says quack quack. Okay, that's for the other channel. I, I, yeah, I won't even open this. Oh, this one does too. I know exactly what these are. You shouldn't have let me touch them. Do you know what this is? No. You don't. You're, you don't have filthy handsies, do you? I don't know where to put it. I, think I, I know exactly this. what those are though. Huh? This is also for rubber duck. Giant. This is a, this is my one and only inbox Beyblade. So this is still this is like mid generation too. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, wait, what did you just show me? What did you just have? That big thing's for Rubber Duck as well. Is it really? Yeah. Am I you gonna know, know what, what it is? Am I gonna know what it is? I'm like. Projecting my thoughts into your brain. Well, I guess we're both smart because I definitely knew what that one is. I don't know if I know what this is. I think I know what this What did are. you grab? Where did you grab? I grabbed all of it. I think. Okay, well, this I is. I did this a little bit. Okay. Well, so our, our mail time on our other channels become a little bit complicated because we do a Pokemon episode and I try to open the Pokemon stuff on there. This may not be Pokemon. No, I don't think so. You'll have to take a peek and tell me what I should open it on. Okay. I'll open it for another episode. There's some wild stuff in here. Oh my gosh, what are these? You open one, I'll open one. Here. <laughs> Superman cards. They have these in the package at our local game store. And I, of course, I haven't been buying any. Yeah, these are Superman. Are they Superman as well? Two different sets. That's good, because I have half a million Marvel cards at this point, no DC cards. I don't know which one to, to pull out first. Okay, let's just go through here real quick. Like I said, we can make a mess. Black rubber duck. Sweet. Scream, <laughs> Scream rubber, duck. rubber duck. Oh, here you go. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> uh, <Ron> <laughs> <laughs> 
Pete, is that Pete the Magic Dragon? Is that who that is? I don't I know. know. Um, the best thing in the whole box. Woo! McDonald's Tamagotchis. We were definitely trying to collect those. I'm also going to put those in my pocket because <laughs> they're going to go in the other room. Quit laughing at me! Oh, I don't sit down. <laughs> we both have humongous teeth. Your teeth are as big as mine with half the size of the head, so that is definitely not fitting your teeth. I have a big mouth. Okay. Holy crap. Oh! Oh! Is this a cleaner? Yeah, a cleaning, cleaning kit for the NES. I don't have the box or the manual for this. Uh, Monster Rancher for Game Boy Advance. Monster Rancher Advance. I don't have that. Sweet. And this is just episode one of Naruto. That's pretty funny. Let's go. What? How do you, you're gonna definitely have to message me and tell, you how, tell me how you got these. Monster Rancher Battle Card. The manual for that as well. That's I don't, wild. I don't have either, so I'll go up there on the Game Boy shelf. Um, what? Okay, that's for you, right? We'll do that last, because that's like a big surprise. Okay, well, let's do the Game Informer first. Um, I don't have that one, so it's a newer one I don't have. That's always good, because I'm getting to where I have almost all of these. So when I see a new one I don't have, I get excited. Lots of Game Informers today, lots of Game Boy stuff. But I have no idea what this is. Is this a manual for dice? This is like a bulk order dice catalog. I'll just put that with my dice collection. That's sweet. It's like ordering forms and all. How'd you know? Because I want to fill a, uh, my yellow gumball machine with yellow dice, but I only have like that much of it full. <laughs> All right, last thing for me in the box, and then we'll talk about Hannah's. Four different, now this is cool because I'm looking for a Digimon Trapper Keeper to keep my Digimon cards in. There's three folders going there with it. Or I might just make that the backdrop lining of my Digimon shelf. Just Ooh. put them on the back row. Was there a note? I read yeah, it first. Yeah, I read it. I, I'm getting to where I can't hold on to what's going on. All right, you talk about that. So this is really special. Are you going to keep them in? <laughs> I flipped them over and now they're uncomfortable and now I can't talk better. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's nice and slobbery now. Gross. It's a little spit boat. <laughs> a little moat of spit. <laughs> um, so when I was growing up, we I had a bunch of these and um, specifically not, well, I didn't have a lot of these though. They're the Bratz boys. Awesome. I had this one, and my mom sent me mine uh, the other day, and my best friend had this one. So now I've got both of ours, and I also noticed that there's, well, it's a lone shoe. A single shoe. There's also a woman's shoe in here. Just a, hey, that's fine. We're, we've got a box of uh, accumulating uh, brat stuff, so that'll go in our box of miscellaneous. I always thought the Bratz boys looked so silly. <laughs> they do. I mean, they're very goofy. I mean, the, the girls don't look particularly right either. They're very specific looking. Um, but the boys are just silly. <laughs> Bro. They're dude. They're all dude bros. All of them. Oh, that was cool. I got a blue eyes, white dragon. I got the only people. Did I say this earlier? I kind of did. I don't know if I made it clear. People ask all the time, Tudor, what's your grail? And obviously I'd like to have the yellow, I'd like to have a yellow Game Gear, I'd like to have a yellow, I'd like to have the yellow version of anything that exists pretty much, just cause you know, it's your boy, but that was up there. Mm. You've been talking about that for a long time. Well, if I if I choose to play a Game Boy instead of my Game Boy Color anytime soon, it'll definitely be that one. Blue Eyes White Dragon, you got Bratz. We got half of the Game, the game Informer collection today. Every single Power Ranger card that exists, is that those fingers? Those fake fingers. Well, we need to keep the rest of that sealed for our Halloween episode. We'll use all that. Bet me I won't do it right now. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I don't want to clean it up. Yeah, I don't either. All right, guys, thank you so much for all that. Um, I am com consider me completely and entirely overwhelmed. My first vintage pony. Pat like, I'm just standing here in the midst, like, there's there's actually practically so much stuff in here that I need, like the sleeve pages and stuff like that. So, like, that's an extra big thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. And, and thank the rest of you for watching and hanging out. Um, doing this weekly episode of Opening Packages, I don't know how long we can sustain it. Uh, I think because we started our second channel and it was just my birthday, 
kind of the time of year it is and stuff and people cleaning out their houses because of COVID. I think I think we're just in a like <laughs> we're in a bubble. <laughs> we're in a bubble and I don't I don't imagine this is going to keep happening, but anytime it does and there's enough for us to make a whole episode out of, I think we'll start kind of doing that occasionally. And what it does is it gives us a day off. This is the only work we're going to do today so that we can post this video tomorrow and that allows us to go and just chill. Whereas uh, up until now, this first year of our channel, we've not had a lot of chill time. So I, uh, the biggest thank you to all of you who have sent stuff and who are watching for allowing that, for, for letting us do that, uh, creating a scenario now where we can be comfortable enough to do that. I really appreciate it because it does help a lot. It really lets us chill out. As a matter of fact, doubly so because we're going to go sort cards now. And that's actually what we're really into doing. So thanks for that, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's talk about a few things before we get out of here. Um, I think if this is live, if this video goes live, a couple hours later should be a Pokemon episode where we'll kind of look through some more of this Pokemon stuff. And we do some other Pokemon stuff. Every Monday is a Pokemon video. So make sure you subscribe to our other channel, check that out, and see what's in some of these other bags and stuff. And uh, I'd really, really, really appreciate that. If you would check it out, links are below. Go subscribe to that channel. Now, also before we go, check out our merch store, tinostrash.com. Uh, we're selling some t-shirts now that are part of our Trash Life line. Hannah's got on right now. Tra hashtag Trash Life. You guys have been posting your social media posts of all the stuff you find. Nonsense like this, right? You've been adding that hashtag Trash Life. And um, <clears throat> we're, Hannah and I are now f starting to do a, day, a weekly schedule where we do this kind of video the same day every week and we take a break and... It's all starting to work out now where we can finally do like we did pre-coronavirus and have a regular live stream on this channel, which we have not done in some time now. We used to do a ton before Corona, but Corona messed our schedule up. We're almost back to a normal schedule. And when we do that, this Trash Life thing, we're gonna talk a lot more about it. We're gonna do giveaways on our live stream for these t-shirts and stuff and uh, do some other really cool stuff with that hashtag Trash Life. But go check that out over on Tino's Trash. Consider buying a shirt, supporting your boy, your girl. And also before we go, check out our public Discord. A lot of these people that sent us stuff, Joe and the tattoo girl, what's her name? Taste, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Taste Tats is her Instagram. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Tasty. <laughs> I thought you just called that young lady Tasty. Well, that's, that's the name of the character. Excuse me? <laughs> on Orange is the New Black, her name's Tasty, but okay. anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what was I even talking about? Check out our Discord. There's a link for that below, too. You can come chat with us. Come chat with some of these people if you're curious where they got some of that stuff. I'm sure we'll be talking about it. We're surrounded by trash. This is the life. This is this is what trash life looks like. I'm so excited about these socks. I'm excited for you. You're a sock person much more I than am. I I wear the same exact black pair of socks from Walmart. Been wearing the same ones for 10 years. I have 30 pairs of them. That's it. Let me tell you. A day in the life of Hannah in Dallas. He keeps the apartment at a crisp 61 degrees, mm -hmm. and I am a 73 degree person. I need all the things I can bundle up with. I wear sweatshirts and sweatpants. So you're going to double these up, is what you're saying. Are they? <laughs> they are cool. They are a nightmare. Okay, that's it, guys. That's all we got to talk about. Thanks for hanging out with us now. You guys go away. Go away so we can clean this up and sort some Beavis and Butthead and Pokemon cards, etc. Come back tomorrow, though, because we do post daily videos on this channel, so we'd love to see you then. And until then, guys, peace out.